Hey Team Battle Force, Coach Lee here. Uh, in this video, we're going to be going over our one through eight footwork without strikes. Uh, this is one of our basic footwork drills and one of the requirements to start working towards your yellow and orange belt. All right, you should be efficient at these things and, uh, and it, it will definitely help you a lot in understanding movement when we're drilling with a partner as well. Okay, so this is something that's especially great to work on in your spare time. It's something I work on most days. All right? I do footwork almost every single day, even the basics. Just our one through four, if you're familiar with that, which is part of this series, our basic one through four without strikes is, is still part of my warm up um, after all the years that I've been doing Muay Thai. Um, I, I suggest that you utilize it as part of your warm up or part of your daily routine when you're shadow boxing or just looking to drill and improve your movement, um, your posture, uh, your reaction, all of those different things. U utilizing these footworks, drilling these footworks uh, can help you accomplish those goals. Okay, guys? So, one through eight. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm set up in a, a, a square here, guys. So uh, over the next two or three weeks, depending on how long we're in lockdown, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys several different drills that we can utilize with uh, a square of cones or shoes or paper plates or whatever it is that you have. Um, you know, this, this will work to help you understand some of the functions of your footwork and make it easy to drill without a partner, okay? One through four. So we're gonna get ourselves in our stance and we're gonna kind of square up in the middle of the box, all right? Hands up, good wide stance. If you watched our video on stance and posture, then we're already set on this, guys, and you should be good to go. Um, so thumbs up by the eyebrows, all right? Elbows down, chin down, tall, guys, on the ball of the feet. Our one is a simple step forward. We're going to lead with our front foot. We're always moving in the direction um, that we're going with the foot that's closest to that side first. So if I go forward and move with my front foot, foot first, backwards my back foot, left my left foot, right my right foot. Anytime that I'm moving, the foot on that side moves first. Okay, um, and one thing that I, I start with in our footwork is always step slide. It gives us the opportunity in our movement, as I'm moving, if I, if I step step, all right, sometimes I might miss an opportunity. Or if I step slide, I can throw and wherever I connect, I have power, okay? If I connect my cross right here and I'm in the middle of stepping, I, I don't have any power behind this hand. Whereas if I step slide, <laughs> all right, I have power all the way through the movement. So, um, you know, that's not always realistic in a fight. But ideally, if we can step slide into our punches, they will be much stronger. So, working on our, our one is going to be step slide, making sure those feet move in their own line, keeping those hands up and staying tall. Don't let yourself lean. Don't sit, let your feet get too far apart. Keep them in your stance, all right? Two is gonna be moving to the rear. Step, slide, all right? Three, lead side. Step, slide. Four is rear side. Step, slide. All right, so we'll go through that one more time and we'll go to um, five through eight from there. All right, one through four is lead step. Step, slide. Two, rear step. Step slide, three, lead side, step slide, four, rear side, step slide. All right, from here, guys, we're going to make a 45 degree step. We're gonna move to point at that lead cone. We're going to slip, which means our rear shoulder is gonna to rotate towards our front knee while still staying tall. We don't wanna lean forward, all right? That's okay in boxing, and you'll see that in boxing a lot. They'll drop here. That helps us load up the body shots. But in Muay Thai, I likely get kneed in the face if I put my face down there more than once. All right? If they see that that's a movement that I'm making, 
Um, throughout the fight, it won't take long for them to throw a knee and try and catch me on that move. All right, so five is a lead 45, slip. Okay, as you can see, I'm dropping my hand down to make sure that I can see my opponent and give the window for that punch to go through. So this would be like moving outside the cross. So if somebody threw a cross at me, I slip outside of it, make that step towards the lead cone, and then we're gonna pivot out. Pivot. And we're gonna turn 90 degrees, okay? So we're gonna turn one wall if we're in the square root, or towards the uh, right side of the box. Okay, so we're gonna be facing this side of the box. This is another reason why these, these, this box is so helpful. Okay, so five, again, lead slip with the 45 step and pivot. The foot comes around and if you can't tell in the video, I'm actually kind of lightly sliding this and tracing on the floor. Again, I like to have the ability to throw a strike at any time. And if I'm connected to the ground, that means that I'll have power. So one last time on the five, lead slip, turning. Being tall, dropping this hand out of the way, and pivot. Okay, then hands come back up, we're ready to go. Six is going to be a march slip. So we're going to 45 with the rear step and slip. Alright? So here we lean. So you can see it from a different angle. I'm outside the cones here, I, at that lead cone, drop the lead hand, make that turn, alright, that will help us get ready to make the turn, and we'll pivot one, one wall. So back to where I was, march set, make the slide, pivot, now we're in switch stance, and we should be pretty well centered up right here, in the back of the two middle cones. Hands are up. Now we go to our seven, which is a lead step and just puts us into the seven. We're back where we started. All right. And eight is a draw step. Drawing back, bringing our feet together, hollowing out. This is meant to escape kicks. So if somebody throws maybe a rear teeth. Push, I get out of the way. Maybe they throw a rear body kick or a lead body kick. Push, I get out of the way. Maybe they throw a lead leg kick. I get out of the way, and I'm bringing my feet close together here. Look, I'm back on the back line of the cones. Now, when I'm here, I have the option to go any directions that, that I want. So I can run there, I can run there, I can go back. It gives me the option to choose my direction, where I wouldn't necessarily have that if I brought my feet wide. Okay, I get a little more stuck there. So that's eight. When we draw back, we're going to go right, left, back in the stance. Again, we're back in the center of the box. Okay, so one through eight. Lead one, rear two, left three, or lead side, rear side four, five, lead slip, and pivot. Six, rear slip, and pivot. Seven, back to stance. Eight, draw step. Right, left, back in the stance. Run one more time, guys. One, two, three, 